Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, March 14th, and you might be wondering why am I in such a good mood? Well, I got one of the best sleeps in a long time. I slept all the way through the night, essentially. The one issue is I slept through like my alarm and I woke up at 6.40, just fell right back asleep, woke up at 8.30. I was like, oh, I should probably get up now. The head touched the pillow, bam, woke up 10 a.m. I was like, what? Check my watch crazy good sleep one of the highest sleep scores i've had in a long time and also one other thing it still looks dark in my room right so it looks like the evening well that's the one thing i put the curtain up and i was like i think it's cold enough that you know i can just leave it up all night but the one issue is when you wake up in the morning say like eight eight o'clock it should be light out right well with the curtain it looks dark but it's actually <laughs> let me see It's it's fully daytime already, so. But I got a tutorial at one o'clock, but it's actually lecture. So I have three straight hours, three and a half straight hours of electromechanics lecture, but I wanna hit the gym before that, and I wanted to do that early in the morning, but I guess not. But I still have time to do it now, so I'm gonna go eat some food quickly and just get out the door. Look how clean the downstairs is. I cleaned it up yesterday. It's spotless in the sun, too. I took a melatonin last night, or like half of one, so not much. Let me tell you, crazy melatonin dreams. I mean, crazy. Like, I remember waking up in the morning and be like, whoa, that was wild. Like, I was like being chased by something. Oh, it was, it was really disturbing, honestly. But I got good sleep. So, normally I'd be like kicking myself for waking up this late, but the last let's say two weeks sleep has been so hard good sleep has been so hard to get so I'll just take this one in stride because I feel so refreshed so looking at my breakfast now huge bowl of oatmeal probably should this should have had this after the gym um, but I'm super hungry so hopefully it doesn't mess up my training session today another amazing chest day in the books started off with some bench press. the program said to do wide grip I don't like wide grip very much, but I did my top set of five reps at 175 pounds. Um, went pretty good. You can see, did struggle a little bit. Honestly, just narrow grip is more natural, I find, despite the fact that you should be able to do more weight with wide. Here, I'm doing some of my accessory work. I'm doing it in like with a narrow grip. I just did like a mixture of wide and narrow, just because I wanted to hit both. I don't know, narrow is just so much more fun. Here's a set of eight at 145 pounds. Then I went over and did some floor press, and this was funny today. Floor press is fun. I'm supposed to do five set, uh, five reps. I think there's 175 pounds on the bar, and I fail right here. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. I'll just like bring it down. Did not realize that my like abdomen was higher than the clearance of the bar. So I just threw it on there and I'm just like lying there, 175 pounds on me, trying to figure out the best way to get up. Can I like push it? No. So in the end I just had to like just roll it over and then just try to like climb up. But that was a fun experience. After that, went over to the other gym, just did the chest machine for a couple sets. I think this is 140 pounds or level 14 on the machine. Not sure if it's exactly 140 pounds. Did this for about eight reps. I think I did three sets of this total. This was just to mimic like incline dumbbell, but the 45 pound dumbbells at the other gym are too light, so I need to make something heavier. And then, you know, just finishing off the workout like usual with some tricep extensions. You need to see me looking back at the camera to make sure I'm in frame properly. Just making sure that I get the good uh, stretch at the top, good squeeze at the bottom. I believe this was like 50 pounds maybe. My triceps have definitely gotten a lot stronger over the past 12 weeks. I mean like man, um, I I was doing like 30s before, but now I'm doing like at least 50, which is really fun. So yeah, that was the workout today. Back from the gym, got my smoothie. Honestly, had I woken up like a half an hour earlier, would have had a lot more time. I have to go in five minutes for my three and a half electromechanics lecture bonanza. 
But yeah, I need to, I just have like some snacks, but honestly, I don't know if it's gonna last me that long. So I probably will be really hungry at the end. Okay, 5.39, got back at 4.30 from 3.5 hours of electromechanics. I would never wish that on anyone, but somehow I made it through. Learned a lot about stepper motors and AC induction machines and whatnot. But tonight I am finally hanging out with Oliver. That guy is a slippery fella. I mean, last week we were supposed to meet up. He had a job interview. We were supposed to meet up last night. He had another job interview. So hopefully this man is employed now and we can finally hang out. But yeah, I got some dinner downstairs that I'm gonna bring over. I'll show you guys that right now. So made the rice as usual just chilling and then I got some beef as well I don't know it looks a little over fried but that's all right got some vegetables here as well I'm gonna go eat it at Oliver's place so yeah see you guys later tonight I have returned from hanging out with Oliver it was a great time we got McDonald's had four hamburgers we played Fortnite we got one victory royale but it was just good to catch up but now it's just straight to bed wake up early because I'm going to go visit a friend tomorrow up in northern BC, so that's exciting.